Greetings everyone! Have you ever wanted to make a mashup or something else involving stems from a musical song? A musical song. This is why I usually write scripts for my videos. But there wasn't any, and you couldn't find an instrumental or an acapella or anything like that. Have I got the products for you! Your worries are behind you, thanks to today's sponsor. That's right, your boy got sponsored. There was a company out there that looked at this and thought, you know what, yeah, we can trust this thing with our money. And so, on behalf of my benefactors, I will now be obeying their command, which is to show you how their product works. So, you know, let's say you got your uh, song here that you want to take some vocals or instruments out of, but you don't actually have an acapella or an instrumental track of it. What do you do? Well, you go over here, you take your very high quality legitimately got an mp3 file, you drag it on in, give it a minute. Now for best results you should probably use the highest quality uh, audio files you can find. However, if you're like me, you're gonna mostly be using this to make mashups of songs that you don't like actually own the rights to that you just find on like YouTube or whatever. So I'm gonna try out, see what I can do with that in mind. And eventually it'll give you this. Let's listen to the vocals. <laughs> Now, for what this is, this is actually really impressive. The fact that you don't hear, like, any background music at all in this, and the instrumental. You can hear a little bit of the vocals feeding through there, but for the most part... Eh. Here, I'm gonna try another song over. Still is unfair. Beat my lips, but don't you dare reply. Cause I am just a dinosaur, alive inside a screen. Yes, a ghost in my home, but it's better than being alone. Reading print receipts with no replying. That's actually pretty good. I expected it to do worse on this one, because the music is pretty funky and all over the place. <laughs> Shit. That's fucking amazing, actually. Hang on. I don't even. Okay, a little bit of vocals bleeding in there. But once the chorus hits. That's actually so good. You can, if you listen very closely, you can hear some of the lyrics bleeding through at like two percent volume. But I'm actually really impressed by that. Like I, I'm, I'm not even like don't even need to pretend to show. Not that I would have. Like if this product ended up being terrible, I wouldn't have lied to you guys or anything. But damn. Again, the fact that this is a, an MP3 I just ripped off of YouTube and it's able to do that well on that. It struggled a little bit with the anime song, but like. I mean, what are you gonna do? It's it's so much better than nothing. It's so much better than you'd be able to do on your own separating those things. And the the one for ghosts is like, damn. Now, while I wait for this to convert my full songs, I am inclined to mention that this has three input tracks and ten minutes total for free before you even buy this. If you just want to try it out, ten minutes should be plenty of time for three separate songs, or two if it's sort of long songs. Also, these prices. Let's look at a competitor! PhonicMind.com uh, This is the thing that I talked about in my video where I went over how I made my Gorillaz and Justice mashup. Now, I honestly can't entirely attest to Phonic Mind's quality, as I tried a song that, um... I actually tested out the uh, Justice song on here and it also struggled with it just because that Justice song was so much like vocal processing and stuff, it probably struggled. However, just looking at the pricing, I mean, four bucks for a single song? This one, you pay ten dollars, you get 90 minutes. I mean, hey, this works for me. 
I don't know if Sonic Mine might be slightly higher quality. I genuinely don't know. In all likelihood, it's probably fairly similar. So yeah, if I wanted to now, I could just take this instrumental, because this is like a nearly perfect instrumental, and uh, make my own cover of it. Yes, my house is haunted, that's the way I want it. Red with seeds of no reply on. Or, if we're feeling a little mischievous, we could do something like this. Can you believe I didn't even have to pitch shift these songs at all? I will have to do some other work though. Um, as you can hear, La 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 can only do so much for the, uh, splash free thing right here but we can sort of help it along so i'm gonna set this to channel two and place a fruity limiter on it and try to normalize these volumes a little bit so i'm gonna give it some gain set the threshold down uh, turn that shit up all right, so that's helping a little bit, but we can also get creative here. So every interval in which the vocals kind of duck out a little bit is likely where a uh, kick drum could go, and we could sort of make it seem like that is intentional if we use some side chaining. You can actually hear on the original, uh, there's a kick drum every like dun dun. Dun, 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 dun. And I think that kick drum was probably messing with Lala Eye, trying to uh, isolate the vocals. So let's add a kick drum back in there. And I'm just gonna use FL Studios, one of their default things. So I don't actually have like any sort of like dance club sounding things myself. Alright, let's sidechain this a little bit. Alright, so I got the splash free vocals here with the limiter on them to make them a bit more balanced. And I got that uh, sending routing to this track only over on 4, which the ghost instrumental is also being routed to. And we got the limiter here being sidechained from uh, track number 3, which the gravity kick was set to. And then it kind of falls apart at the end there because like the drum pattern for Splash Tree does not match the number of ghosts or whatever. But you know, I'm just demonstrating that there are ways you can kind of work with this uh, even if the results aren't perfect. Because, I mean, the technology just isn't really there for it to be perfect. I'll be very impressed if you can get like a perfect sounding version of this on another website. So anyway, uh, yeah, there you go. Your mileage may vary as you've seen. Uh, certain songs work better than others, certain instruments are better than certain vocals, and vice versa. But I think this is a very useful tool for this kind of thing. Or if you just need acapellas or instrumentals of anything for any other reason. Thanks again to you, la 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 i la 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 i la 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 i I know how to say it, I just like saying la 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 i because it's fun, for sponsoring this video. There's a link down in the description you can click to go to a thing involved. My name is in the URL, I think. I don't, I don't know. Sure. And like I said earlier, you can try it out for free with up to 10 minutes of music. Uh, for anyone waiting for me to get back to my VTube model tutorial series, I apologize for the delay. I will be working on that soon, don't worry. Hopefully this quick little video has been enough to tie you over until then. Bye! So the pizza all the days in the